Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Europe here in London. I'm here with Dave Richards from Wandisco. Dave, you're the co-founder and CEO. I am. I'm you still are? the co-founder and CEO. Yeah. And so how, how has this be event been for you? I mean, you were here last year. Well, you were actually in Barcelona. And you're now here. Has a lot changed in that short period of time? or? I think it's just incredible. I've just come from uh, the showroom floor where all, all the exhibits are. And our booth was absolutely jam-packed. I mean, I've, when I did the keynote this morning, and uh, from nine o'clock they shut the doors and they were sending people to a different room because the exhibit hall wasn't, was the, the keynote event place wasn't big enough. It's just been f fantastic. I think the big change for me is I'm seeing more customers now. I'm seeing more people that are actually in the midst of deploying Hadoop and have interesting use cases, and I think that's great news for the industry. And so there were, there were a couple talks today that, that mentioned it doesn't matter what your platform is, what your data platform is. It matters what solutions you're building. Can you guys talk a little bit about, you, you talked about solutions in the healthcare industry. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about why that statement would be important? Well, I think choice is really important. And we launched a product called, that we now call Wandisco Fusion. And that allows you to do active, active Wanscope replication across different storage systems so you could have Hortonworks to Cloudera, you could have Hortonworks to Cloudera to Isilon. And I think it's pretty unfair to sort of force customers down a path to say, you must put everything into this one particular storage array. Customers really don't want to do that. So in the healthcare industry, we're seeing interesting use cases, different pockets of data and information in different storage arrays. And I think, I think that sentiment's correct, and I, a couple of people did bring that up today. Yep, and so the health industry, mm -hmm. is that ripe? for data innovation and innovation happening everywhere in all aspects of health? It is, and it should be even more so. Um, the National Health Service database that's been around since the, the end of the Second World War when we got the NHS that's a fantastic, amazing system over here. It looks after 50, 60 million people. I mean, just brilliant. But there is so much interesting data and information stored in that system. I mean, I talked today about the Michael J. Fox uh, foundation, foundation yep. working with Intel, and you know, one in five people are misdiagnosed uh, with Parkinson's disease. We have to move beyond that, and that's a data problem. I mean, wearable information, my cell phone can detect slight change to my walking gait. Imagine what we could do, that's one use case. There are thousands of potential use cases that are all data-driven use cases. Excellent, so is, is that the industry, what other industry would you see that could also be ripe for disruption and a real big use of data that, that isn't fully in yet? Well, I talked in my, in my keynote this morning about the, the, the driver, the big change that Hadoop and big data is bringing to the market is disruption around the cost of storage. And the old monolithic, and I won't be disrespectful to any vendors, the old monolithic, really expensive uh, storage arrays stifled innovation because we always wanted, we always knew that we could build these really interesting giant applications based on lots and lots of data. We just couldn't afford to do it. So in the in the financial, service in, the financial services industry, one of our uh, biggest customers is a bank. And he will tell you that he's going to save, he believes over time, 99% by implementing open source software. Save. Do, save. Save. Yep. So uh, discount to what is his existing storage cost of 99%. Open source software, Hadoop, commodity servers versus monolithic, expensive proprietary software. That's the big disruptor in the market. And so then Google also talked about this cloud-based um, big table. Is that a trend here too, is to have hosting in the cloud or have on-prem and off um, coming up? I think that's I think that's a very good point. The, the the concept of the hybrid cloud, which is to date still really unrealized. I mean, it's a buzzword at the moment, but I think if you talk to any CIO down Wall Street, you will find that they have a massive desire to move to a hosted cloud-based model. They really don't want to look after their own data centers, but currently they have to. So, thinking of where we're going to go in the future, mm -hmm. and whether we have hybrid clouds, we have different industries coming in, where do you think the data world will be a year from now? Let's say we have this conversation in London next year. Where we, where we will we be? I think, um, I think it, the, the most interesting thing that's happening is that Hadoop is moving from being a batch-based platform that was designed to look, after, to look at click traffic 
to being an applications platform that is designed to look at real-time information, vast quantities of streaming real-time information. And I think we're talking about it at the moment, but we're not really truly seeing that. And I think in 12 months, there are lots of applications being built that are going to do just that. So the talk will actually be best practices and actual use cases that have happened? Yeah, how, how, how you can use Spark as a, a, and Hadoop as a compute platform versus as a storage platform. Okay, that's the industry. Now tell me where Wandisco will be at that same time. What, what will change for you guys in the next 12 months? Well, I'm really excited about our Fusion product. So Fusion product was designed to be completely non-invasive, no source code changes required to either Cloudera or Hortonworks or any of the other storage arrays. And it's incredibly simple to install and use. I could have you install it in about half an hour. It's going to be a downloadable product, and I think you'll see us get a lot of customers using this technology in the next 12 months, a lot. And so what's the prototypical customer? Uh, you know, if you're downloading it and you're installing it as a user, are you in a large institution? Are you a startup? Are you any of the above? Or So we tend to sell to Level 2000 companies. They have a definite need for active, active WAN scope replication. They're already using grid-based systems in their existing database technologies today, things like EMC, SRDF. We're kind of the golden gate for Hadoop. We make Hadoop completely reliable and resilient and protected from failure, even over a wide area network. And they're the, really the kind of customers that we're interested in. So mid-level, mid-sized companies? Very large companies, the world's largest banks. Uh, we announced the deal with comparethemarket.com, which is a bunch of meerkats on, on a TV ad campaign over here, which is a very famous company in the UK. Um, whole uh, British Gas is another uh, big customer of ours. So we're, we're very excited about the Fusion product. Very, very excited about it. Excellent, Dave. We look forward to seeing you at uh, future events. Thank I'm you. looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you again.